the elites at the top of the pyramid have known this information for millennia. Using the power of collective consciousness, they program this reality as they please to carry out their plans and agendas. They program reality, and we execute it. That is their power, the power that lies in knowledge. This is why this information is so valuable and has been deliberately hidden from the general public for centuries. They have power over us to the extent that we ignore the illusory and programmable nature of this reality. And we have power when we acquire the knowledge that this is not the ultimate reality, and that, essentially, we are eternal beings and the co-creators of this reality. They use both your individual creative ability and that of the collective to materialize their agendas, which explains the overwhelming presence of propaganda. Politicians and media constantly recite lies, aware of the power of repetition. They know that by repeating something enough times, a seed will be planted in the subconscious of unsuspecting minds. Each of these minds acts as processing power, creating a kind of collective CPU, thus rewriting reality. Through the educational system, the foundations are established and the limits of our minds are defined, which continue to be perpetuated over the years through the media, government entities, and other power structures. We are under constant programming, intended to keep us under their control and domination. But here's the good news. There's nothing to fear. When you awaken from the illusory dream of this reality and acquire the knowledge and wisdom of your true nature, the rules of the game automatically change. You are the operating power in your own reality. And both individually and collectively, we can do anything by becoming aware of our power. This is a simulation of the mind, a dream in the mind of the whole, as suggested by the Hermetic teachings in the Kybalion. When you're dreaming, your character in the dream, the dreamer, is the same as your real self, the dreamer lying in bed, but unaware of their own nature. Likewise, you, in this illusory reality, are the dreamer, the all or God, who is dreaming you. We just need to become aware of our true nature. Just as in a lucid dream, where we can alter the course of the dream by becoming aware that we are dreaming, we can do the same with our reality. All of us can use the divine power of our consciousness to manifest whatever we want in our lives. That's why the powerful insist on keeping this information away from you. Through the use of their means, such as propaganda, wars, deliberate economic collapses, and other conflicts, they cause instability in the world and in your mind. So that you never leave survival mode and stay in a state of low vibration and ignorance. Therefore, knowing this information can be crucial to free our minds from all the dogmas, manipulations, and predictive programming to which we have been exposed. When you stop giving your power and energy to the illusion they have created to keep you enslaved, you free yourself. You regain your power, and the divine energy of the Source becomes available to you again. By reconnecting with the flow of the Source of Infinite Potentiality, you are ready to direct your creative energy more consciously and actively build your life. Apply the law of assumption and creative visualization to program your reality and become selective with the information you let into your mind. Remember, they have power over you as long as you believe in them. Become aware that this reality is nothing more than a projection of the mind of the whole, of your own mind. The essence of spiritual awakening is the realization that we are not limited by the limitations of any reality, simulated or not, but that we are inherently connected to an infinite 